They say it's the most fun you can have with three fingers. Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm talking about bowling. With over 67 million Americans bowling last year alone, it's making a serious case for America's new pastime. Spare me your rebuttals, because I would bet money that you've bowled at least once in your life, and you probably had a good time. Today, we aren't going to stay in our lane. We're gonna get to the bottom of why Americans bowl. We're here in Sunset Lanes in Moorhead, Minnesota. Let's go strike up some conversation. Like I said, almost everyone bowls a little bit, and they have fun doing it. But I'm curious, to those who bowl regularly, the people who consider themselves true bowlers, what is it that keeps them coming back for more? I just think it's the competitive nature. Seeing yourself improve. When you mess up, you know you messed up. You feel that on your hand, you see it on the lanes, but when you do it right, you know that. It comes off, and you're like, that felt right. Oh, that went where I wanted to go, and then it strikes, and it feels good. It's not, I have to beat this kid, I have to beat that kid, it's I have to beat what I did last week. If competing with yourself is what gets you into bowling, what makes you great at it? I spoke to Bowling Hall of Famer Mike Jones and asked him what keeps him coming back and what separates the chumps from the champs. I've always loved competition, uh, competing in sports in high school and college. Is there a secret to your bowling success? Just look at some of the guys like Barry Zimmerman's here today. Just kind of watch what those guys do and just kind of model your game after them a little bit. See what works and see what doesn't. Just, it's all by trial and error. Trial and error, that's my specialty. I think we've determined by now that bowling is in fact a sport with a lot of skill. And if you listen to the podcast, if you watch a lot of my videos, you know I consider myself an athlete. Stop laughing. I'm gonna throw two balls right now, and if I can't clear all 10 pins, then I'm not an athlete, clearly. First and foremost, I'm gonna use a pink ball because let's just face it, it's hilarious. I actually took a bowling class in college and I'm trying really hard to remember everything I learned. One, two, three, whoa. Not a bad start. Thank you to my professor. I forgot what your name was. I just remembered at the end of the class you gave us your business card to buy bowling supplies off you, which kind of feels like a cheap move. I would switch up the ball, but at this point, this is my lucky charm right here. I got one pin to go. My status of athlete is on the line. Be the ball. Be the ball. One, two, three, roll. But when you do it right, you know that. I have to be what I did last week. The word humble doesn't even begin to describe it. To miss by that amount, that's stunning. I tip my cap to all the great bowlers out there. Despite how much us regular people might think bowling is just a game, it's more than that. Bowling is an art form. I learned something today. I used to think bowling was just something I did once a year when it was raining out and I had nothing else to do. After talking with all these great people today and throwing a few balls around myself, I'm realizing it's just a lot of fun. A bowling alley is probably my favorite alley to hang out at at nighttime. So next time you and your friends are a little bored, come on down to the alley. I've got a lane with your name on it, and I promise you, after a few good rolls, we'll change your frame of mind. Till next time. What? That was a good one. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. Do you suck at bowling? Are you the guy who's throwing a fit every time your group goes to the lanes? Nobody likes that guy. So why not switch things up a bit and try bowling with a buzz? When the beers are going down easy, everything is a lot more fun, even when you suck at it. So head on over to oyoubetcha.com today to get your merch and get your buzz on, because it makes everything a lot more fun.